met I know quite a lot of people actually that have just gone bought a caravan and set it up on their parents garden or a field somewhere and are living there all the youngsters do struggle to try and find living in in caravans and uh, sheds in the bottom of their gardens because there's nowhere for them to live plenty of places in the winter but nothing in the summer over the last decade I suppose it's where second homes have gone berserk I say there's nobody lives around here anymore to speak of the village is very dark most of what you see down here are not lived in the properties aren't lived in at all some people come down and use them say two or three times a year if that it's a lot more affordable as far as i mean rent wise you're looking at if you go to a holiday park or whatever it's like 400 pound a month for a nice three bedroom caravan with bills included and then you're looking at like a, i don't know a two bedroom house or flat or something and it's £800 a month, and it's ridiculous. And especially here, yeah, Rock Weybridge area. I mean, one of the houses down the road, um, I looked at out of curiosity, offers in excess of £750,000. Well, oops. <laughs> it's a lot of money, and um, yeah, I, I wouldn't be able to afford any of the houses in the village. I mean, obviously, I live with my parents at the minute, which is lovely but one has to move out at some point and um, I mean it would be a lot more affordable to get a caravan because it's my friends down the road they've they've got a caravan on Facebook marketplace and living there at the minute um, but it's not very homely I would say really it's oh, well most of them are still living at home I only know one person that's moved out but I'm mean, what it's like independently in the area uh, not in the area that's up Camelford way do you know anyone uh, who's been able to buy a house no no, no. <laughs> No, no, not at all. Other people just buy Facebook Marketplace caravans and stick them in a field somewhere and job done. is resentment I should think more than more than anger I mean obviously they resent it uh, and, and the youngsters have to move away and then once they move away if they do well you'll see them move back if they don't do well you never see them again <laughs> since Covid a disaster we've been shut since September because it in the winter it just doesn't um, it doesn't pay to stay open what used to be a, a healthy local trade has just disappeared through housing. Well, it's changed beyond all recognition. The, uh, all the houses that come up for sale are unfortunately bought by people from outside of the area, uh, which uh, means that the local people can't afford to buy and all the council houses down the road have been sold. As they come up, they have sold and so there's no stop for the youngsters to have houses anywhere. I remember a long time ago, when I was a lot younger, um, I used to be quite a lot of people milling about the village and used to say hello to me and all that because I knew them. Um, and my friends used to live here too. Um, we, you know, we used to go to school down the road and all that and go down the park. And, but um, there's not a lot of that anymore. I moved down uh, to Cornwall 1999. We were lucky enough to get a place to live here in the village of St Nimba. We rent our cottage from the landlord of the, of the four ways in. We've seen, a, I've seen a lot of, lots and lots of changes with the second homes and things. It's not easy for local people to buy properties here anymore. The traffic has become, gosh, I don't know, t probably 20 fold from, from how it was when I first moved here. No, I, second homes are an important part of holiday area life. But there comes a point where it becomes too much. And that's what we got now. The people who are buying these places have got a lot more disposable income than the people living around here. And so they're priced out of it. And so they move in land. With the inability to, to trade, particularly in winter, because of no locals. So it's, uh, it's the way it goes, you know. So nothing you can do about it. You can't stop people buying property. All you have to do is try and go with the flow, that's why we're, um, we're going into uh, letting rather than serving 
pastries. <laughs> <laughs> the pub uh, struggles, you know, uh, because there aren't the local people in the area to, to actually patronise the pub. So that has struggled and for a time it's been on the market now with a view to perhaps selling it. But that was to, it, it wouldn't sell as a pub because pubs, as we all know, aren't really doing very well at, at the moment. Um, so the person that was interested in buying that was going to change that to holiday lets, uh, which actually there's been a lot of um, op opposition to the planning permission for that because we, we a village like we don't need any more holiday lets. There is very very limited parking for the people that do live here, people that visit the post office, people that visit the institute. Um, so that, that there just isn't the infrastructure here to support any more holiday homes. This parish is the uh, is a blighted one as far as housing is concerned, and there's nothing else going up either. There are rumours that there's going to be some affordable housing going in, but uh, it's not just affordable. It's the people who are the next step up from affordable. You've got people who are, you'd like to go from a two-bedroom house in Campbell and to perhaps a three bedroom in Wadebridge but the difference is just unbelievable and also for the, the um, people who may have separated or divorced where they left had to leave the home and they're professional people and uh, they can't afford it flats yes they, but they can't afford a house. And the best scenario for us as locals would be to have the pub back open yeah. you see yeah. and then we'd have a, a little bit for community mm. and stuff and that would be good yeah. yeah but I mean the rest of it I'm like in, in the summer in, in the you know the madding crowd I don't go down rock I don't I take my dog anywhere yeah. I, I, I don't go down there it takes you forever to get down the road you know and what about for for your own business like you mentioned well we got busier and busier because um, in the 50 years uh, 50 garages have closed in a 10 mile radius and uh, the areas have been turned into building sites and then sold off to holiday homes again um, and so yes we slowly got busier and busier have you have you got family in the area do they struggle to um, <laughs> like how, what do you think about their chances of being able to buy a house locally uh fine if they if they've got a couple of million in their pocket but if not no forget it it's um Example, Bodmin, um, which I moved to, but I had to move back again for various reasons. Uh, you'll get a house there for 400,000, which would cost you one and a half million in, just down the road, you know.